in one second out of 27,648 options of what it could have been. You're really, really good at categorizing stuff into bins that you understand. Okay? So you really don't like working with bins that you don't understand. Like, for instance, if I tried to give you too much information in any one dimension, right, then you're going to have a problem when I give you substantially less than 27,000 options here. I just want you to tell me how many green dots there are on the screen. All right? No basis to categorize this. A little bit of stress saying, got to make a decision. Don't know what to do. Okay? Anybody know exactly how many dots are up there? 27? 19? Uh, wrong. Okay? We're, and we'll get to that in a second. We'll give you a pattern that you can use. And so, if I were to ask you which third of the line that's on, you could pretty well guess, certainly which half. If I ask you which 19th of the line, okay? How about which 20th? Well, gee, if you guys are working trying to find 5% margins, what's really scary is you can't see a 5% difference of where that dot is on the line. Okay? It is outside of our natural wetware capability to understand a 1 in 20 change, other than to see, uh, you know, watch it change, to, to sense it moving. But to spot it and say that's 5% better than it was is really hard. Okay? So I'm going to give you another countdown. This time I'm going to give you some order to those same dots, same number here, same amount of time. How many dots were there? 25. Yeah, you, your misspent youth playing poker taught you the five of spades pattern, right? Okay, you spot it. That's the way we organize groups of five. And so I gave it to you in clusters that now you could recognize. So you saw five groups of five. You actually used a third pattern. Anybody want to remember what that third pattern was? So ingrained that you didn't know you were using it? Who here actually counted the dots? Nobody. You look at five groups of five, and bang, in your brain popped the number 25. So if I said three times four, it's 12. Three times three is nine, right? Seven times five, 35, right? We burned that in because it takes a lot of energy to put useful skills in our brain, and then we never go back and build new paths. And that's the real problem, is that when the world changes, when our model of the world changes, and we need a new pattern, it takes a tremendous energy to build a new one. And boy, it sure is easier to learn a language when you're young, when your brain is pliable and looking for places to stuff things, than after we've built all the little pathways in our brain and we only know one word for soup. Fortunately, it's the same in Russian and in French, so you could start learning uh, those too if you like. But it's really hard to create new pathways in the brain because we spend all that energy as children. And we are thermodynamic engines, and so we like to use the old patterns when we see new stuff. And unfortunately, when the whole basis of our understanding changes, the pattern is no good anymore. So I'm going to make one quick change. Don't blink. What changed? Red dot. Where was it? Lower right, upper left corner of the lower right quadrant, right? So we are really, really, really good at spotting changes in our patterns. So why are we so bad at reacting to all the data that's out there that's showing us all the change? Well, the problem is it's really noisy. And so we will put on a filter. Oops. We will put on a filter. And so we will filter out massive amounts of noise because we think we see the signal under that. Okay, and you're going to find an awful lot of people that are passionate about how the world events are supporting their particular religion because they have a world model and then all the data actually supports that world model because the rest is all just noise, you see? Right? And so if you have a world model of how things are going and you start to see some scatter, depending on how passionately you believe that model, you will be unprepared to get off on some new change. Right? So I'm going to show you some things that actually are changing, that my job as a futurist is to tell you these are absolutely real. Okay? 